Hello everybody, welcome to Green Remedy Kitchen. Uh, this month, November, is a diabetes awareness month and we are planning to show you how you can make a healthier version of a pumpkin pie for your holiday season so everybody in your household can enjoy it. So instead of uh, making a pumpkin pie, I'm making you, you can either make sweet potato or a yam pie and I'll show you how you can do it. Uh, one thing about yam or sweet potato, particularly sweet potato is that is really good for people who wants to uh, level up their blood sugar because it has a high fiber and also it has a high resistant starch. So actually it stabilizes your blood sugar. It's really good for winter time because it's full of vitamin C, it has vitamin B6 and also it's full of magnesium and potassium which is really good for your bone and also it increases your metabolism as well. So for this um, recipe, I'm gonna make the uh, crust first and for the crust, I'm just gonna show you guys that it's super simple. So what you will do, you need um, to have your uh, blender or like protein shake, it doesn't really matter. And uh, I have the recipe, I will send it later on. You can put um, some pecans, like half, one cup or uh, one cup and a half, it doesn't really matter. It depends how many guests you have or how much of the pie you would like to make. And also you add some dates. You wanna make sure the dates are soft. You don't wanna use hard dates. So you can either, if you have those hard dates, you can soften up by soaking in the water or you can just use these soft dates. So I'm just gonna use, according to my recipe, just eight, five, six, seven, eight. And this recipe is also very good for winter. That's why we are using it because um, it's also very enriched and very warm in food during the winter and fall time. And it says that uh, we need also um, uh, two tablespoons of vanilla extract. So I'm gonna just put two, one, two, and uh, half of a spoon of salt, just a pinch of salt. You don't have to use the salt if you want, you can. And uh, so we did our pecan, our vanilla and salt and our dates and that's about it and then you can process it in your uh, food blender or your in magic blender so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend this perfect it's all ready so what i'm going to do i'm gonna put this in and make the crust you can also add like any kind of nuts as well, if you desire. So, or if you want, you can put less um, dates or more nuts. These are all up to you to make the crust. Okay. The good thing about this pie pan is, and um, this pie, and you can, after that, you can actually put it in your fridge and serve it cold. It just needs like four or five hours or something to, okay, so this is our crust. Our crust is ready, as you can see. I work all the way through the edge, okay? Mm -hmm. Obviously, as I told you guys, I'm not um, using um, pumpkin. I want to use the uh, lighter version and healthier version. So I'm going to use these yams uh, or you can either do sweet potato, it doesn't matter. So I put on my cone number three and I'm going to start to shred them. One thing that is important if you guys notice, I did not peel the uh, sweet potatoes because the fiber and there are a lot of magnesium and potassium on the skin and you want to make sure that you have them in your diet to stabilize your blood sugar. So that's done, and then you're gonna put it on pan, in your pan and just cook it. For this, I have pre-cooked these. As you can see, um, I put it um, in my small skillet, no water, just a little bit on top of the lid to make sure it's sealed, and I have cooked it, okay? So it's done. 
so I don't have to do it in front of you guys anymore. So that's done. If you don't have this kind of pot, that's okay. You can just use your regular pot, but you need to add one glass of water to it. So I need to use my vitamins to blend this. So we want to put all the yeah into my mixer. Just put it in your fridge and let it sit for four to five hours and you can serve it that's it this is like super easy less than five minutes dessert healthy diabetic friendly recipe that it's great for your winter time enjoy 